We're doing some proper chemistry down here. Oh. Okay. Good morning internet, it is quarter past nine in the morning and welcome back to the channel. I'm not even going to try to pronounce where I am because I'll just get it wrong. This is where Alaska has been staying. They're building a, an elevator at the hotel here. So it's a little bit chaotic. I already brought all my stuff over so I'm just gonna load Alaska up. Although maybe I'll first get her out of there and then load her up there. It's probably better. Right, turn around here. I'll tell you in a bit, I'll tell you about my plan for today. But first, I'm gonna ride past, there's this uh, district close by where there are a couple of mechanics. So I just wanna check if they're there. I, I doubt that they're open right now, but I'm just gonna try. If not, I'll try in the next place to find a mechanic. It's Sunday today. Sunday morning, so forget it. Also seems to be more car place than motorbikes. Interesting place. <laughs> Hello? The moto? Mechanic? Huh? Ah, uh, they're sleeping. Yeah. One in here? Okay, I'll try. Okay. Merci. Check it out. Sleeping still. It's 9:30 on a Sunday. <laughs> ah, I thought it was worth the shot. Yeah. Interesting place. Mm. It's not something you would normally see, I guess. All right. I'll just keep going then. I can switch gears, so it's okay. So, where am I going? To Tata. That's the place I'm going to today. I'm trying to go. Tata. And I'll be riding through the deserts. That's my plan. Off roading. Whoop whoop. Okay, let's see. Very rocky track. Very bumpy, maybe I should. It's a little bit better. So I can't go too fast because there's some big big rocks. Alright, 233 kilometers of off-road through the desert. That is quite the distance, to be honest. There might be some uh, military bases around here too, I'm not sure, but I'm relatively close to the border with Algeria. The land border between Morocco and Algeria has been closed for decades, so I guess they're not the best of friends. So there's some military bases I guess to control that area. some or not. 
What cool is, is that I'm now riding on some of the old Paris-Dakar routes. So the old Dakar, the original Dakar rally would go through this area. Visibility is not so good today. I can barely even see those mountains and they're not so far away. So I guess it's uh, the wind is just picking up some sand. Every now and then I see some vague tire tracks, but it's so faint. It's not really a road here whatsoever. is picking up and the visibility is just getting less and less so while I'm standing here I think I should change my plan because I can't really read these desert conditions and I don't want to end up in like a full-blown sandstorm alone here in the middle of nowhere so I'm gonna change my plan and uh, find another route not through this valley here also because there is absolutely no visible road here i just kind of have to pick my way through the area which is fine if i can see where i'm going but there's a whole bunch of sand in the air that might get very tricky. I can't see where I'm going anymore. So. Change of plans. You must respect the desert at all times. because now that I see my own tire track you know I can also really notice that I am by far the freshest track there are no other fresh tire tracks around here it's not a popular route so here's my track
have arrived in Tata. Seems like a bit of a bigger place. Let's see if I can stay here tonight. I'm going to look for a mechanic to help me bend my gear lever back. These are the instructions that I got. The guy's name Ramdan. 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 <laughs> and I'm here, so I should go here. This is where he should be. Alaska's inside over here. Yes. <laughs> Shukran. See if I can find Ramdan. See? <laughs> no, it doesn't want to go to third gear. So yeah, it is really necessary <laughs> to get it fixed. Sometimes I get it. Let's see, then I go back to first, second. No, no, I just want to go. Right, somewhere here. Ah, I see motorcycles. I see mechanics. Maybe this one. Ramdan. Ramdan. Ramdan, oh yes. You? Yes. Your name is Ramdan? Yes. yes. Oh, I'm looking for you. What's <laughs> problem? I have a, it's a small problem. I bent my gear lever. The bike fall on this side and now it's bent inside. So now I cannot uh, shift up because okay, okay, it's touching. Okay. 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 Ten minutes. Okay. 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 No problem. Good. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, good. Oh, I have one more thing. Um, can you also, because uh, I break the chain guard, it's just that this one, this one uh, is really tight. I couldn't, I couldn't remove that one. But I think it's better if it's gone. Oh. So I asked him if he could remove uh, these two parts which were still left from my uh, chain guard. Uh, that one and on that side because they're really tight. But now I think he's going to make me a new chain guard. I think that's, uh, that's the idea. He was like, yeah, how far do you want it? So let's see. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, something like that, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, where are you from? Netherlands. Netherlands? Yeah. You like my bike? It's, it's great. Good it's bike? Wonderful. Are you from here? Yes, exactly. What do you do here? You work in this shop? No, or? no, no, I'm a teacher of English. Aha. Well, what are you doing here then now? Like just I, I'm just like relaxing. I just came here to visit my friend. Ah, okay. His father owns this shop. Ah, okay. I see. Nice. <laughs> okay. We got a new chain guard. Look at that. Please, make sure you Don't do that. I think only about half the no. half the width. I mean, maybe this, this way. Okay. Oh, that's a good risk. Oh, nice and brown. It's work is Morocco, eh? Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay.
out my brand new chain guard. <laughs> Custom made. Look at that. Masalema! <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna have a look at my air filter now. I'm thinking I'll have to clean it. Um, I'm using like these reusable air filters, which I can just clean. So I have two of them, one in the bike and one spare. So then, well, I'm cleaning the one, I can already put back the other. That was my theory. So, but let's first see how it looks like. I think I sucked up quite a little bit of sand. a little dirty see this is how it looks like this is how the clean filter looks like this so this is the inside at least the inside is still clean so no dirt is going through my filter but this is the other side so i'm gonna give this one a clean and put my other one in now <gasps> you're not gonna believe this but so i'm looking here at my air box and i'm like let's clean it and i look at that there is a huge oh, there are two enormous holes in my airbox but that must have happened already when the whole chain guard thing happened it must have slammed how is this possible honestly i do not understand this but uh well that is really bad okay it started raining outside so i moved alaska in oh man i can't believe i didn't notice this before uh, well, I don't know if it when this happened, but my guess is it, it must have happened at the same time that I smashed that uh, chain guard. I don't know. I was just, I think, so focused on the chain guard, which was broken because that was really obvious that I did I didn't see it. I did not notice it at all. So the good thing I think is that basically nothing happened. So I didn't hurt my engine at all. Uh, no dirt has gone past my air filter. But of course, with two big holes in my air box, um, my air filter is going to get full very quickly. <laughs> so yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to contact, I think, the Honda dealer where I bought Alaska in the Netherlands and ask because somehow, I don't know, I doubt that I can get this here in Morocco. I don't know. Um, I doubt it. Let's see. Um, I, I also don't know if, if they have it in stock in the Netherlands and then see if I can get a new airbox and in the meantime uh, try to close the holes and just keep riding. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Uh, I have to think of a plan. What's the plan? Close the holes. Here's my hero. <laughs> okay. I am, you know, cleaning air filter. Da -da -da. I noticed. <gasps> and the top oh the my god. <laughs> yeah, I know. Two big holes. Um, so I think. Mm, polyester. Okay. A top. A hot top. Okay. okay, no problem. No problem. No problem. Oh, I love it. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Back to the workshop we go. Yeah, I just need a temporary solution so I can keep riding and then uh, yeah, see if I can order a new airbox. Oh, this rain is real. I'm not sure what happened with my tablet. It's all flipping out in Chinese. Heavy, huh? Okay, this is the workplace now. Only this one. No, 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 only one. One, go ahead. <laughs> Look at this 
So to get to the airbox, we need to, well, Ramnam needs to take all this stuff off. Uh, duct tape, yeah? Step one, duct tape. Okay. Oh. What is this? Poly. Poly stair. Okay. Okay. Step two, poly stair. Step three, another bottle. Okay, a little bit of that. We're doing some proper chemistry down here. Oh. Okay. What is this? What's that? This is polyester. So he puts the polyester inside. Uh. Okay. Yes, 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 No more holes. Okay, so the hole is closed, or the, both the holes are closed. And he also fixed something on my side panel. It had also two holes, but that was unrelated. They were pretty much already there uh, when I reached Alaska, but I couldn't get a new side panel. Otherwise, I would have wanted to replace that side panel. But I couldn't. So that was an old damage that they also fix now. But of course, the main thing was the two holes in my airbox. Um, it's fixed. He first tried to get the whole airbox out. That's why he dismantled uh, a lot of Alaska. But I think in the end they decided it was too difficult to get the airbox out. So they filled it from uh, within. So now he's just going to put everything together. Uh, it needs to dry for about 30, 40 minutes, I think. We have the motorbike shop right here. And then on the left, we have the tea shop. <laughs> Atai. Atai. Atai Melech. Atai Melech. Atai Melech. Shukran. Yat food. No, 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 now, now fixed, now everything fixed. Okay, Saha. Thank you. Thank you, huh? Good luck. Good luck in, good night. Good luck in Italy. Ciao, Masalema. All right. That was it then. Oh, it's gotten late. But I think it's okay. I no longer have a hole in my airbox or two holes. In fact, I think I think they did a really good job. I, I'm not sure. I'm not an expert on fixing holes in airboxes. I have no idea. I think I have a solution for now. Tomorrow, hopefully, I'll hear back from uh, the Honda guys in the Netherlands if they can order a new airbox just in case and then I'll see uh, 
yeah where I can send it to so anyway I'm gonna end this video now because it's late it's dark almost I'm pretty tired I hope you enjoyed these shenanigans of today and if you did please give a big thumbs up and give a thumbs up for the guys who were amazing and then I'll see you next video